Alright guys, today I want to give you a demonstration of a really cool application that I came across and it's called Log Me In. Some of you might be familiar with it and some of you might not. Um, it retails for retails for it's for seventeen ninety nine on the App Store and in my opinion it's a steal at that price. Now most of you are gonna be wondering, well what's this application all about for eighteen pound? What it allows you to do is, is to access your desktop or your laptop from your iPhone or your iPod Touch remotely. Example, you're away on holiday uh, and your iMac is in the house. You've got your iPhone and your iPod Touch wherever you are uh, at your holiday destination. You pick your iPhone up and you log on to the application and if your iMac is switched on and connected onto the internet back home, uh, you can access your files, your desktop from this device and it's as if you were actually at the machine. So it's really helpful if you've maybe not taken your files or maybe a situation occurs where you have to get access of your file and obviously you've not got your computer with you. So um, the conditions are your iMac must be on or your computer must be on back home and it must be connected to the internet. And once that's done, everything else, you can take control of your entire system from this device. And it's actually pretty cool because you can see everything your desktop icons, everything, and I'm just going to show you that just now how it works. Okay, so here's the application loaded up, and Log Me In is here. Let's tap on it, and here is the uh, user details, and I've already saved it. So basically, once you create your Log Me In, um, or once you sign up for Log Me In, you get to choose your own password and so on, and that's what I've done. Logged in. And then it's going to show me a screen with all my systems on it and one is online, the IG4 and this is my iMac which is upstairs in the house and that's um, on at the moment and this one down here, I'm not too sure which system this is but it's offline, it's telling you and you can refresh it um, if you've connected the bottom one but uh, for the sakes of this video let's go into the iMac it's connecting to the iMac and then it's going to ask you for your username and password for that machine, so whatever your user credentials are for the iMac, you put that in, and I'm going to do that just now. So that's me entered my details, and I'm going to press login. Now it's logging into my iMac, sharing remote control, and my desktop should appear. There you go, that's my iMac desktop loaded up. And it works multi-touch, zoom in. So here's my dock at the bottom here, all my applications spaces, someone sent me a tweet, iPhoto and everything, the mail applications and you can open up anything you want. Uh, here's my website that I've loaded up on Safari, iGlass region and let's say if you want to scroll down, just here's the bar and just double tap it and then push it down and there you go. All of this is obviously through the Wi-Fi network. You can connect onto 3G as well if you so want to, but bear in mind that might slow things down for obvious reasons. But over Wi-Fi it just works, you know, pretty smooth I would say. And also on the iMac it's telling me that, um, uh, you know, there's a wireless network or someone's sharing this computer and so that someone is me, um, you know, showing you guys this video so it's just making the users on the iMac aware that this you know system is being remotely shared got you the torrent down there and what else have you got here let's open up why not um, where is it yeah let's open up this to show you how good this application actually is worth every single penny in my opinion Let's zoom back out because it's probably opened, and yes, it has opened. Not that you would want to do this uh, remotely, but I'm just demonstrating this to you. So the purpose of this video is just to show you that you can see your entire desktop from here, and you can access your files. Fantastic application. The application is also good in that uh, there's a lot of customization you can do uh, in terms of options and um, UI. So here's the options at the bottom, and the first one's colour quality. Pretty self-explanatory there, whatever quality you want. If you're on Wi-Fi, you might want high high quality. If you're on um, 
Wi-Fi, you might want to lower it down so it loads up faster and um, for those instances where you need a snappy style um, network speed, whoops again, um, auto lock keyboard scroll mode, uh, so if you want the screen to move with the mouse or with the screen if you want the entire screen to move, you just move your finger like, like I was doing if you're going to do mouse, let's test that mouse only the mouse, um, mouse moves as well if you get my point before the screen was moving and show hints, you can, I've got that off but yeah, uh, that's what I meant by um, the, the options that you get in the settings so again, it's not just you know any sort of cheap application they've actually built um, you know this application very nicely a lot of tweaks you can do and I believe this application is also available for uh, the Mac uh, for the system specifically this is the iPhone and iPod Touch application but you can actually get the software for your Mac so you can access um, your iMac from your MacBook Pro maybe uh, so do check them out and yeah I mean if you've used this application or if you've used any alternatives to this do pass them along uh, as I'd be interested to check them out but log me in uh, were kind enough to reach out to me and send me this application Oops, my battery is dying so thanks to log me in log me in details in the description and uh, thanks for joining feel free to post a video response if you've used this or uh, if you want to share your experiences with log me in comments are always appreciated and uh, remember to do join me on iglassweegian.com how could you miss this web page here yep thanks very much cheers